pussies dripping from the floor to the door. Good pussies dripping like hot sauce. Is it really good pussy or is it good pussy experience? Or good pussy energy? If you have good pussy, you can get away with a lot. You can do what you want. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the new look that we've got? We are trying to step up our presentation and production this year. And if you are too, I'm proud to share this video is sponsored by Squarespace, a place where you could build the perfect website, start email campaigns, or open an online store today. When you build a community on social media, it's someone else's algorithm, taste, and rules that govern how you can connect with your people. With Squarespace, you're in the driver's seat and you have the power to customize your content to fit your brand and your needs. My website, my mailing list, my book website, all of them are powered with Squarespace. And if you are ready to try and see if they can power your next big idea, go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to start playing around for absolute free, no credit card required. And then when you're ready to launch, you get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Once again, it's squarespace.com slash shambooty. Let's talk about good pussy. Ow. Ow. There was no other way to start this, sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay, we gotta start with you, obviously. You're pretty hyped to be here. Oh man, I'm so happy to be here. Jason. It's such a safe space. What is good pussy? Good pussy is wet. Good pussy is wet. Good pussy is dripping. Good pussy is dripping from the floor to the door. Good pussy is dripping like hot sauce. Like, good pussy melts in your mouth and not in your hand. Or melts in your mouth and your hand. But it doesn't really melt, does it? I mean, it melts, I mean, it melts in me. Okay, let me ask the adverse question then. Does that mean that dry vulvas are bad vulvas? So dry is not bad. But you know, you wanna slip and slide, you know, you wanna get your time in the in water world, you know what I mean? You Do you know Coco? Talk about it. <laughs> This one here. <laughs> so for me, good pussy is about three things, mental, emotional, and physical. How do you take care of it? Do you know how to wash your vulva, your pussy the right way? How do you think of pussy? If you think of it as, I'm just meant to be here and please a man, your perception of sex is gonna change. How knowledgeable are you and emotional? Are you someone who, when I'm emotional, I just wanna, fuck everybody and everything, how are you most, I think good pussy is how you take care of it. Additional for me is knowing like the connection that a woman has with her yoni mm. and like even the spiritual part. Like sometimes I even ask my girlfriend like, have you masturbated and spoke to your vagina recently? This is off topic, but I must know. <laughs> what do you say to your penis when you're masturbating? Yeah, it's like, how are you doing today? <laughs> Feel good? Am I doing too tired and too, too loose? Like even this morning, because I have so much conversation, sometimes I'll grip my dick too, too um, aggressively because it feels good to me. And today I just did a very soft rub down. And then after I was done, I was like, you like that? I'm just like, all right, cool. I mean, we might, we might try that again. Oh, so I it's just a connection that. between your private part and person that makes a good baseline for me. Coco Melissa, have you recently spoken to your pussy? Hey. <laughs> I literally was about to be like, I'm gonna talk to you. <laughs> we'll talk later. I like when my pussy is talked to. Woo! Yeah. I like talking to pussy. Yeah. That's one of my favorite passages. Jason, yes. you are killing me. Yeah, <laughs> Hi, how you doing? How was your day? Are you okay? Do you need some water? What can I do for you? That's how I feel yes. about it. Good pussy is definitely hydrated, and I will say inside and out. So the owner of that pussy drinks a lot of water, and that contributes to taste, which pussy should taste like pussy, nothing else. But very hydrated on the inside, and then with that can get gushy on demand. Physically, there isn't much different between the um, vaginal shaft, like how there is a distinct difference in penises. Um, Cause you had sex with five women in a night. Yeah. So you had a very, you know, very wow. specific oh, yeah. case study to go off of. Yeah, I was definitely like the second one didn't feel like the fifth one. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was definitely a difference. One woman might be more intimate, so she might like a slow stroke. One woman might be like um, backing it up on you, might be more intense. So that plus how good and wet the pussy is already, that's what makes it better. It's not just only the physical part of it. I mean, just like this. There's good dick, there's good pussy. You know, I know I got good dick, so I don't necessarily judge a woman on like her tightness or her stroke. I just wanna know that she has the experience to be free, to like give herself to me, and you know, get on a roller coaster and ride. Like that's the way I operate. The difference between good and bad is, are you giving yourself to me or are you holding back? Yep, that's the that effort. Yeah. 
That is that effort. Not to say though, <laughs> good pussy will allow you to be a pillow princess if you want to. Like, I don't have to do anything. I can get away with murder um, because I got that good pussy. Okay, but expand it, on that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, you know, her a lot, you know, you're lucky you're cute and things like that. But if you have good pussy, you can get away with a lot. You can do what you want because you know you have that good pussy. Thoughts? <laughs> disagree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I only disagree because men are stupid, right? If you don't throw it back, we could just end this right here because mm. I know what I'm about to bring and I don't care if I look good, I'm smelling great, I'm feeling myself, I'm gonna still bring the energy with my physical attraction. I mean, if we're just talking about fucking and like just pussy and dick, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I've been able to get away with a lot. I still feel like it's energy though because like you said, you could be laying on your back not doing a thing but if you're on top of me and i'm stroking your beard and i'm telling you all the things and the energy is just good you're gonna feel like damn she's just, she's talking to my soul i'm just laying there not doing anything so is it really good pussy or is it good pussy experience or good pussy energy mm -hmm. so we're still just fucking and i'm not doing anything yeah. but the energy that i'm relaying to you makes you want to do more work because like i want to i want to keep hearing what you're saying because you talking to my dick and my mind and my, my heart, my soul. I'm, I don't even want to be a daddy, but you got me in a moment thinking I Ooh, might be a good dad. Yeah. Like, it, it's the energy that you bring to that, me. That's a fact. Don't call that's me daddy. Fact. Don't call me poppy. It's a rap. <laughs> I think soul. this is interesting though because I do think a lot of people to Melissa's point genuinely are like no like my pussy without any action without any other pluses to it is just good. Mm -hmm. Like it is good. But like what is the it? Does that mean to your, is it the health? Is it the wetness? Like what is it that your yeah. pussy provides where it doesn't need to give anything else because it by itself is just good? I definitely think the taste. The taste, the moisture, the tightness, if you do Kegel, right? Um, I think that all contributes to just, is this part of this person that I'm entering good? Mm -hmm. And I think that has a lot to do with it, yeah. I look at my pussy like, that is my homegirl. Like, we are one. So to me, my personality, my energy, is my vagina is the same. So it's just like the boundaries that I have for my life and for myself as a person, I have the same for my vagina. You get what I'm saying? Like, how I treat it, like, of course, <laughs> wetness, tightness, all of that. But that's because we have such a good relationship. Right. I would say, though, I'm going to allow my pussy to go through a lot more than I would allow myself to go through. I think that's another thing about good pussy is it can take a beating. Like, Ooh. So, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you would allow your pussy to go through a lot more than you would allow yourself to go through. Yeah. So does that mean you separate the two sometimes? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think as a part of the body positivity and just sex positivity movement, mm -hmm. there's been a dismissal of good and bad. And just mm -hmm. bodies are great bodies. And if you are enthusiastic and you come to the table wanting to give pleasure and receive mm -hmm. pleasure, like mm -hmm. that's it. That's what makes something good or not good. Mm -hmm. And there's something beautiful about that in, on one hand, but on the other hand, genuinely believing that your body part is just a, a very, very special all on, its own, all on its own just because of the way it exists, it's also kind of beautiful. Because mm -hmm. I don't have the mentality that my pussy itself is great, so I'm like, I gotta give more and do more and bring my whole self to it. Whereas you, you're like, no, like, it's doing all the work. Why would I bother try? Yeah. I mean, even though I disagree, I can understand the thought process because for men, we're just judged by the look of our penis. So it's like, you see a man's penis and then you look and be like, that could probably be some good dick right there. And it's like the size, the girth and everything. But you don't necessarily hear a lot of women be like, nope, oh, this is the pussy and I know it's good. Like men would look at their dick and be like, yeah, I know I got a big Yeah, because no shade, a dude who has your mentality would be the worst in bed for me. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh man, I hate sometimes big dick dudes for that reason because in their minds, they don't, they don't have, do have any other action yes. required. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've had big dick where it's just like, yeah. And I've had averages where I'm just like, so tomorrow? <laughs> Does anybody with a pussy have the potential to have incredible pussy? Brush up on your skills, do your kegels, do your exercises, read, study, you know, managing everything properly. Yeah, of course you can have incredible. But wetness has a lot to do with hormones as well too. Some yes. people can have horm hormonal issues that get in the way of them being mm -hmm. SeaWorld. Mm -hmm. So, 
what would that person's option be to be good in your mind? Because that's the whole caveat here, is that each person have a different definition. Like, that's yeah. the kicker, right? So mm -hmm. somebody actually, a friend of mine, um, prefers dry because they need a lot of friction in order to orgasm. So if someone yeah. is too wet, it's actually impossible for them to get off. That's me sometimes. So, I know. Yeah, that happens. Huh? Yeah, the, the feeling, I love vagina. And I love to feel it. Right. So if it's so wet that I don't feel I it, it takes it. away from, from my love for it. You won't be in the ocean, you won't be moving in the ocean. I'm talking about you, had, you, had, you got the walls and you got the wetness there, but you still need to be slipping and sliding and stuff like that. So I'm saying if, I'm, if it's all dry and I'm like, wait a minute, am I in like the Sahara or something like that? I need to be in the ocean, in yeah. like the Atlantic. I need to be by island, I'm chilling, like sipping on like mimosas or yeah. some type of drink with honey in it. Mm -hmm. I need to be like- You're for it. In water. Yeah. I'm a water sign. That's why I'm a cancer. Oh, so I okay. need to be in water, sun, hot, all that. Uh -huh. All that. How do you feel about lube? Lube is great. Lube yeah. is great. If it gets a little dry, you it's got great. lube, uber lube. I remember one of my friends gifted me like some uber lube from, for Christmas from Germany. We used it, but you know what's crazy? Like I like when you say uber lube. Uber lube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody's watching this, I'm going to end right now uh, on this. But if somebody's watching and thinking, how do I get it? It's not something someone can give to you. You have to believe it for yourself, and then from there, it radiates out. Right. Yep. And keeping yourself knowledgeable about just vulvas in general. Mm -hmm. But it starts with you. It's not oh. like you have to wait for somebody else to be like, it's pretty, it's acceptable, yeah, exactly. it lubricates enough, yeah. it's tight enough. Mm -hmm. like, it's a yeah. And you can skip all that, but just by talking to your vagina, having a connection, masturbate while you masturbate talking, have and a good day, baby. Yeah, have yeah. a good day. So it's an yeah. amazing conversation. Right? You did you, good. Even before you go, I'm like, we're going to get this day. Uh, we're going to get good tonight. We're going we gonna to hit tonight, girl. I promise. I know it didn't work out Friday night, but Saturday nights is our night. Yeah. <laughs> Content like this is only possible with the support of Squarespace. So big shout out to them for partnering with us for a number of years now. Now you can also partner with Squarespace to power your next big idea by buying a domain, building a website, starting or transferring your mailing list, opening an online store, creating paid subscription communities, and so much more. Improve your workflow, integrate your social media, blog, and have access to in-depth analytics to understand who your people are, all with the help of Squarespace. Right now, Squarespace is offering a two-week free trial plus 10% off the purchase of a website or a domain should you choose to launch with them. To get in on this deal, all you have to do is go to squarespace.com slash shambooty. Again, that's squarespace.com slash shambooty. And here's what we have coming up on our next video with them. I got like the tiniest little butt plug first. And I think it was a guy that I was with initially. He kind of started to just like massage the area. And I was like, oh, that was nice. And then on my own, I did a tiny little butt plug. I was like, that was really nice. And then it just kind of opened the door and I just became known for it in my friend group. <laughs> and so I kind of started putting other people like, maybe you should try it. And I got other people into it and it just kind of became a thing. So and you're the butt munch guru. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. I'd like to I challenge you for that title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, well, please. <laughs>